All right, let's get this party started. Avalard, if you would do the honors. I said if you would do the honors. I even marked him with Pascal. Anyway. Okay, we cleaned them up. I found a note on a body. And I found a chain axe. Some flak armor. All right. Nothing interesting on quarter, but that note spoke about a location. So we might be able to track these guys back to their hideout, because I know we had a quest to do that. So I think we're not going back to our ship just yet, I don't think. I think we've got, um... We've got someone to meet. I'm surprised this guy hasn't been dealt with. Let's see what twice dead Lanny had other than a sniper rifle. Four specs, 10% bonus to awareness, that's good. And some sin skin. We don't need another sniper rifle, we have enough of them, but both those other things are useful. For perception, we want to give the bonus to Cassia. So let's see what she's doing in terms of her accessories. I do need to be disciplined and send more of this stuff into storage. First of all, uh, Cassia's equipment. Oh, she needs the agility bonus at the moment, so I can't give her more armor. But I can give her this. Take her awareness to 100. And then Argenta, who, ha who does have the agility, can go to 100% dodge for the same armor value, which is nice. I think the shotgun worked relatively well as an area alternative to the flamer. It doesn't have as much spread. I see the light. See, I don't know if you're just dying or if you're a cultist, so... Um, oh, I can't shoot you. I, I wasn't necessarily going to. I was just checking if I could. Um, I'm not seeing any more loot. So let's go find their hideout and talk to Jay. Actually, no. Let's let's have a cutscene. You're in deep, my friend. You've made some powerful people very angry. Oh, they're going after the uh, dude who was torturing people for money. Ladame told us to make sure you're not seen around here again, and we will. Oh, okay. I told him I want it stopped. Uh, he stopped it. So, there we are. See, didn't have to buy any prisoners. Uh, problem dealt with. Let's um, let's go find the gang. We have. I've gone back to the bar to try and meet her, and we got a cutscene, and we got voice acting. You have no idea. I just might. That's the second bottle you've downed. Jai Hidari. Falco sends his regards. And what does that unholy scion of a Grox and a Brahan want from me this time? Oh, wait, I don't really care. My sole plans for tonight are drowning my grief in a sea of Amnesac. We'll give you grief, all right? Get out! Okay, she got moves. Okay. Hidari, I am tired of your mess. Ow! Get some sleep. We'll talk about settling up later. Octi Sherin, light of my eyes. Can't you see my soul is full of She's clearly got the agility I need. Let go of your material. I'm thinking this might be a recruit. Have we met somewhere before? A woman looks at you with glassy eyes of a drunk. Those two empty bottles keeping a company. Looks completely out of place. Fancy attire, abundance of jewellery, implants, plated with precious metals. Appearance not only screams wealth, but also audacity for any an audacious person would flaunt wealth in a place like this. Greetings, Sherin. With whom do I have the honour of speaking? I'm Perun, trade envoy of House Valancius. Well then, here's to our meeting. It doesn't take a genius to figure out that you're someone special, since you've been granted an audience with the Liege of Football himself. It's always a pleasure to make the acquaintance of someone powerful. And the timing couldn't be better. Jai Hedari at your service. Professional trader, shrewd commercial broker, and, may I ask steal my tongue if I'm lying, the most honest dealer on Football. Hmm. Nonetheless, we all have our problems, 
and at times even one's many merits aren't enough to solve them. Perhaps it would be no trouble for a person with your kind of power and standing to assist someone with my kind of A person who needs something, I'm shocked. I have heard a great deal about how open-minded the members of the Fon Falancius dynasty are, and Lady Theodora especially. Yeah, we know I'll... Theodora is indeed a bit dodgy, and she thinks we're, she thinks I'm still working for her. What kind of cargo was stolen from you? Let's Goods get the information. Incredible rarity, Shivian. But it's not just that. Two dozen of my people lost Your their people. lives in the impenetrable so you have emptiness of the void to acquire them. I cannot leave their families with nothing. Oh, because you're a true humanitarian. Logic test. Ordinary smugglers do not dress ostentatiously or behave brazenly. This woman lost many people to obtain these rarest of goods, and to get them back, she turned to Vladain uh, Takara. Her cargo can be nothing other than Xenos artifacts, creations of enemies of humanity branded with heresy. Not for me. I got a permit. Empress signed it. Um, are you asking an upstanding citizen to be party to the trafficking of Xenos artifacts? Or I wish to ask you a few questions. We're not going to accuse her of heresy, right? Um, well, if uh, let, let's just let's just see where this goes. Like I said, gather information, identify groups, and then let someone like um, Heinrichs make the call. Wish to ask you a few ask questions. As many as you wish, Sherin. You see, Sherin, there's one cardinal rule on football: anything goes as long as it doesn't get in the way of business. I'm someone who's been able to exploit that rule to the fullest. And in recent years, I've hit it so big, I've become a speck of sand in someone's green eye. They used to throw small wrenches into my dealings here and there. Well, now this will be Falco and the gang, I'm guessing. Into it. Some rats stole my cargo and dragged it off to the seediest part of the Shadow Quarters. A crummy place even for connoisseurs of Footfall's unique apple. When I asked the Leech for protection, we had a mutual misunderstanding. I believe Vladayam in a most lamentable fashion. But has Dime, forgotten apparently his duties is his name. as guardian of the downtrodden and wronged. So I'm in desperate need of a new one. And you, Sheridan, fit the bill perfectly. All I need is for you to drop by one dark corner of Football Shadow Quarters and pound it into the thieves' heads that taking Heydari's property carries certain risks. Jay appears to be a serious operator. The Legion's refusal to help means the loss of a potential ally, so Jay's encroaching on his turf. If Vladayim is not responsible for the disappearance of the cargo, he will certainly greatly benefit from it. Interesting. I suspect that Vladayim wants to keep the cargo out of your hands, and I want to put him in his place. Or, if the Legion is neglecting his duties, I shall become your patron. Let's start with number one. May the Exalted One bless you and your progeny. Then here's what we'll do. We shouldn't be seen together before we make it to the safe house. I'll head there first. Right. Here, that's where those ash mags are keeping the stolen cargo. Out the bar, over the bridge, and to the left. There, in the depths, you'll find a small courtyard through which you can get to the place. I'll be waiting nearby. You can come when it suits you, but the sooner you do, the better. I'll see you then, Sherin. Alright. So we got a quest. We have two gang uh, two gangs to hit up. Uh, I'll talk to the bartender and then we've got a couple of gang hideouts that apparently we need to uh, we need to crack some skulls. The Anvers and whoever stole her cargo. But you know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing loot, experience points and a potential recruit. So I'm not gonna say no. Oh wait, no, Octaviano is a... Uh, the barkeep is a recognizing Argenta. You're the Suster Argenta, the one who has the worst scum of footfall shaking in their boots. The whole station's talking about you, and here are, uh, and here you are in the flesh now, humble and the secus. Yeah, Argenta is um, Argenta is uh, just calmly like calming her down. No more. I seek retribution against transgressors, not glory for herself. Um. I'm going to ask about the Anvers gang and a couple other questions, and then go find those gangers. Alright, I think this is the warehouse that Jay was talking about. And I also found the Anvers hideout, but let's do the warehouse first. 
man, there's so much shit on this station, you think the guy in charge would deal with some of it, but apparently we have to do it all ourselves. Yeah, as I said, good for XP, good for loot. But named characters, Torcor, Jay, these are her people. Follow me please, she says. And they're carrying las guns, so when she says follow me please, I have a feeling this is follow me, like, in assault formation. Which I will do, as long as I don't leave any valuables behind first, and I drop a quick save. Is aiding a smuggler a worthy endeavour of a rogue trader? Well, you see, I need money to buy you a heavy bolter. Let's talk to Jay. That's... hold on. Jay? Jay, is that striking... is... Mm. Jay? Um, okay, so... Jay's weapons, if you're not familiar with the lore. Jay's not using human weapons. Those are Eldari splinter pistol, well at least one's a splinter pistol, and that looks like a striking scorpion chainsword on her back. So she's rocking she's rocking Zeno's weapons. Give me strength. But these people are labeled thugs, which means that they're bad guys, so we can kill them. Okay, I thought this was gonna be an uninteresting fight, but I have allies who are just gunning down the explosive barrels everywhere. And they have done massive damage to Abelard. They are... They're causing serious problems. Uh, where I had everything under control. They even just de-momentumed me. I had the momentum to start the, the killing sprint going. Now I don't. Which just makes life really annoying. Opposing me was your biggest mistake. Did that get us to high momentum? Time for this. 174 of 175. Fantastic. Uh, we can, however, move the frontline zone. Suits my purposes. And misclick it, just for bonus measure. High momentum. All right, we do have high momentum, but it's high momentum at a point where we want Cassie to be able to do it. So we have to throw a turn to Rune or Justa. Justa will do. Accustomed to being ordered around. Allies. Allies ruin everything. I am fear incarnate. All right, let's get this. Let's get this thing back under control. In I think you're ready to go, right? What's the health in the gaze like? It'll get us a kill and we'll get some secondary hits. I think we're going to be doing this instead. Let's hit Servitor. Definitely need these hitmen to go. And she's the only ones who can hit these targets out this way. So many targets, so little time. Isn't this a job painted black? Step aside. Let's get the, the band specialist in range. Coming. No. I am a natural grace. <sighs> if I there we know, go. just casually exploding fools. Isn't this a job <laughs> for the black? There we are. See, once we get her back in. Once we get her back in the game, we are in much better shape, but that was that actually gave me a bit of a fright, to be honest. No one's allowed turns. Now we really need the turns to come back to Cassia, which would require Perun to take a turn. She's not happening until that combat servitor has taken a turn, unfortunately. But we're down to three opponents, so we're in a much better place than we were. Let's move the damage not onto them. For me. I don't think we need the kill zone. We do need Vok. Already done. 
and let's put the mark down on the servitor. Okay, Cassia has a full turn. We'll go for the combat servitor that's going first first. This is her new seat, she just took Devastate. So her first thing didn't put it on cooldown. But she's taking damage for doing this. I absolutely think that's worth it because she's trading on HP she wouldn't normally have. We've got one enemy left. Avalar's taken a wound. See, no reason not to give the... Let's give the win to Pascal. He doesn't get the chance often. Even if we haven't specced him for Plasma like we should have. But he's definitely a candidate for a respec. There we go. What a mess. Thank the throne we didn't come here with just the three of us. I know, because your people would have screwed it up and gotten themselves killed. You almost got me killed. Jay throwing the haywire grenade, that was positive, but um... Yeah. Oh, we're letting more people in, okay. Jay, you want to explain to me what's going on and why your people half gassed me? Alright, the Ashmags didn't have time to make off with anything yet. Give me two minutes, I'll send the coordinates to my loyal crew who will deliver my property somewhere safely. And done, we're good. Now how about we relocate to a more pleasant and private space to discuss the details of our deal, specifically payment for your efforts. We're just going to leave your par uh, priceless cargo here unattended. Nothing to worry about after the ruckus we've caused here. I doubt anyone will go near the containers. I am, however, infinitely flattered by your concern for my, now our, property. Hope you've wanted wisdom is worth all this trouble. Oh! For Dimes Agents. Stop right there in the name of the liege. Your Excellency, please forgive my vehemence, most noble prune. I never expected to encounter such eminent persons in this corner of footfall. Hey, Jay's working it out now. Most noble excellency! Jay purses her lips slightly and shoots you a confused look. Vladime's agent. I am Vladime Takara's personal agent. I came here to remove from criminal circulation a shipment, the distribution of which is banned in the lands of footfall. Horrendous Zeno heresy that has been fraudulently delivered to a bastion of the Holy Imperium. Oh, he's still full of shit. Your boss literally sells Xenotech, bro. Like... I do not doubt for a moment, most noble per uh, Perun, that your presence here is merely a misunderstanding brought about by another's manipulations. Commerce test succeeded. It's too great a coincidence that the representative should arrive here just after Jay rec recovered her right. Of course it is. Seems that the guards reported the problem with the shipment over the Vox, and not to just anyone, but the Liege's personal agent. Vladimir Patakara knew about the shipment from the start and probably planned to take it for himself and get rid of Jai if he could. Behold the grubby, underhanded struggle between cold traders, and had it not been for your impromptu deal struck in the bar, Vladaim might have succeeded. Interesting. So I can either say Jai Hadari, the owner of the cargo, is presently under my protection. Tell your master that he should think twice before crossing her from now on. I can say you are absolutely right, I have nothing to do with this shipment or the woman standing next to it, sort of leave Jai in the shit. Um, might get me in with the guy in charge of the station, but I already, he already needs me for food, so I don't think he needs even more goodwill from me, and I kind of want to get paid, and this cargo sounds expensive. The third option is to say this cargo belongs to the Von Valancius dynasty. Is Lord Takara trying to encroach upon the property of a rogue trader? I'll think about this, but I, I think you know where I'm going with it. I think we're going to go with number three. The cargo belongs to the Von Valancius dynasty. Is Lord Takara trying to encroach upon the property of a rogue trader? No, no, your lordship, I beg you to forgive this wretched serf. A terrible misunderstanding, a thousand apologies, I won't disturb you further. I wish I could see Vladime's face when he finds out he almost stepped on the toes of one of the most powerful people in the Expanse. Listen, Perun, I'm genuinely sorry about this confusion. Vladime and I have had our difficulties, but I never thought he'd want to clean me out and do away with me in some dark corner. At least not so soon. If you hadn't agreed to our deal, Shireen, my gang and I would already be floating in orbit around one of Footfall's asteroids. Hmm. <laughs> T 
So there is an option here, execute J. Uh, J Hadari for betraying the Imperium, I, Perun von Val Valencius, hereby sentence you to death. I can say, I'll take what we agreed to, but I never want to see you again. I can say, I'll be merciful and give you the choice, heretic. You can atone for your deplorable crimes against the Imperium through your service to House von Valencius, or you can die where you stand. Or I can say, I could use some with your talents and connections in my retinue. Or I can say, tell me about your business uh, and don't leave anything out. We're going to do that first, get the information. Now, here's the weird thing about this situation. What Jay is doing is extremely illegal. However, if she does it while working for me, I'm pretty sure it's not illegal. So, the question here is... If I can, I can either like punish her for her crimes, or I can take the very valuable Xenos Trader and make her go legit. And all that it takes, I think, to make her go legit is to bring her onto my crew, which is what I'm tempted to do. But let's ask questions first. Okay, so... Yeah, okay, so she's admitting she sat down with Xenos, one's intelligent enough to believe in mutual benefit was better than the uh, their mutual destruction. I know where the line is between an ordinary deal and betrayal of humanity, and I never cross it. Um, so I can say I like you more and more, or there's no nothing wrong with making profit, whereas it does not harm oneself um, or the Imperium. Either of these are fine. Let's let's be let's be charming. Um. All right. So I can be nice or I can be bad cop recruiting. I think we start with like nice guy recruiting. I think. Because I just don't think conscripting, I think she's slippery. I think she's very slippery. I think this is a more more uh, with honey than vinegar sort of situation. The key is there are only two acceptable options, um, and I don't want to say it like this to her. But the two acceptable options are she comes to work for us, and we babysit her work, and we use the protection provided by the warrant to make it legal, or we like knock her off. But everyone here is cold trading anyway. So, how about a road trader could use someone with your talents and connections, Jay? I would like to see you in my retinue. I wouldn't say no to making the occasion, marking the occasion properly. It's not every day you embark on a brilliant new business partnership. Abelard's not happy. Argenta's not happy. And now she's asking us about the fact we were incognito. I'm infinitely flattered by her attention, but if I'd known I'm talking to a rogue trader, not an envoy of one, I would have shown some decorum. I want to talk like normal people do. For a man of my status, it's a rare treat. You are hardly forthcoming. Neither of us were completely honest. After calling yourself the most honest trader on football. Entirely willing to join your retinue from now on. Your knowledge and experience are entirely at your her knowledge and experience are entirely at my disposal. Oh, and one more thing: if you're interested in a rather lucrative offer, one that can give the von Valencia's protectorate a leg up, I'd say now isn't the time to be thinking about such things. But once we get back to the ship, perhaps you could spare me a minute. Oh, and profit factor gain too. Brace yourself, Abelard. Yo, yep, she's definitely joined the crew. So I'll just send Abelard home temporarily because he's wounded. Just to see what Jay is. What are you, Jay? It takes skill and Your iconoclast, pure iconoclast, like Abelard. You're an officer. You're an officer who can use fellowship or intelligence for intelligence based skills. She gets bonuses from my reputation. Eldaria and Drukari proficiency. She's an Imperial Worlder. 
with fellow. Ooh, so she can get plus five fellowship to me. She's pretty fellowship heavy herself. Interest. So she's another officer. She's another officer. So she might be the replacement for Justa. Um, if we want an officer, but an officer who is a recruitable character, if we want to drag her around, uh, she would be a natural replacement for Justa. So we would go Grand Strategist, I'm pretty sure. And then she's got souped up ballistic skill. Her agility is a bit weak. You took Bring It Down, Finest Hour. She took the correct Finest Hour upgrade. She took the Range upgrade. She took Willpower, what a waste. Nimble. Lasting Impressions, good. Took Willpower again. She took move, move, move. Move, move, move's okay. Swift movements, uh, a bit of a waste. This is just me figuring out if I have to respec her. Like, she's not ideal. Yeah, all these willpower... Wait, did she not take characteristic upgrades? Yeah, look, I don't want to spend a respec on her necessarily because she's just, she's okay as it is. But we definitely make her a grand strategist. What's she got? A shuriken pistol and a splinter pistol and an Eldari chainsword. Six to nine damage, rate of fire six, range seven, toxic needle, toxic burst, rate of fire seven, recoil five, pistol shot, pistol burst, armored body glove. You can do better than that. Improved armored body glove. Mark of the ruler. Question is, does she get a sniper rifle instead of this? Probably. Because even though that's a very good melee weapon. Her bullet, she's definitely a ranged combatant, first and foremost. She might also be a candidate for the deflection gloves. They're not very good, but that she might be... Can anyway, we can outfit her. So she's an, in she's an interesting one. Alright, there we are. We've got a coal trader on the crew. I'll make her a grand strategist. But we still have a hive of scum and villainy to clear out elsewhere so maybe we go do that this over here is the dark hideout that i'm pretty sure contra uh, contains the gang um i realized i sent abelard back because he was injured which means this is probably i mean it's, it's weird to get a little bit sentimental about a, a character that's literally a hireling but this is probably just his last mission uh now that we've recruited jay who is an officer we don't need to bring a deer on um so Justice place will, if we ever need to take an additional officer, will be filled by Jay, probably, because she's an actual character, and she's got some additional bonuses that Justa just doesn't have. So, this might be the last outing for Justa Hireling. Victory awaits. It will also be obscene because we're running a party of six with four officers in it, so this will also be the most shouty the party ever gets. Uh, with three grand strategists, a master tactician, um, and an Arch Militant. An Arch Militant who currently doesn't have the select fire weapon they need to make the most of their abilities. Uh, interesting. I'll We've got doors and everything. Well, that's heresy. They crossed out the Aquila. That's not good. Let's open this door. Okay, there's Anvers down there. Before we start that combat, let's just go over here. Looks like we can also begin the combat from another angle. None shall stand in my way. Okay, just secret goods. I was hoping for like a kill everyone in the room button, but there is none forthcoming. So let's drop a save. And get to it. And the kingpin. Okay, so someone important. My guests, what joy it is to see you in my humble refuge. I see you've come here to be introduced to the truth. Which will you choose from then? Words or fire and metal? You already know the answer, heretic. 
So I have the option, say I'm more fond of fire and metal. So you've ruled over footfall with fear, that's a serious achievement. I could do with people like that, so let's talk. I prefer to use human resources rationally rather than charge them with guns blazing. Or I can say, if you have something to say, say it. I will, your time has passed. All you bureaucrats considered aristocracy, other worth of trash, all of you will soon burn. Do you even know what our ma name means, outsiders? See, I'm just gathering free information. Footfall calls us the Anvers. They do not stop uh, to look, listen, and learn. Auxilio non veniet. Help will not come. The moor was closed. Rome's expanse is on its own now, and Euro has come, and we are its sovereigns. Okay. We've learnt a little bit. He stopped the spinny thing in the middle of the room. And you'll die quickly. Which and seems to be poisoning everyone, I imagine. Are we still carrying... Uh, we're still carrying those adaptive antidotes. So, I still think the better approach is to kill everyone quickly, but we still have the adaptive antidotes from the navigator station, which we can break out if we need to. And for Kingpin, 199. And for Thugs. We don't have Avalard for a Starburst in this situation. I think a well positioned. Um, I think that's a shotgun blast that'll hit three there, which is good. Jay can sit. Actually, no, Jay can go center. Just up. Cassia center with Baroon. The scale like that. Start the battle. Let's go immediately into bring it down on. Well, we don't need to do Avalar this time, so we can go straight into Argenta, I imagine. Or we can go Pascal. Now, nah, let's, get, let's get Cassia's uh, buffs off. I'm afraid not. And okay, we have to walk the hard, hard way around. Shotgun. Nope, it's not getting me the effect I want. That's close to the effect I want. As the Emperor commands, I act. Oh. Uh -huh. Better start. Furious recital. Now we're talking more. Let's get Cassia back where she belongs. Varun, if you would kindly. Already done. Fuck. I'll pass. I messed that up. That's all right. We'll make up for it. Frontline zone. Probably not worth uh, investing the auto kill point. But we'll drop the zones anyway. Not a problem for me. Okay, now, Nothing Cassia, if do. you would please. Already done. Not a problem for me. Isn't this a job for the serfs? Let's start this. by getting people who are not in the area of effect of anything obvious. If I may. Or who have lots of HP, like that person does. Oh. 
Jay. I can do that with the right incentive. Jay also has some firepower because apparently she's a dual wielder what I'm doing. who can fire doing? without the second attack costing action points. Which is actually fairly impressive and dangerous. Uh, so she can double single shot. But we'll give the extra Don't turn to Cassia first. To get this happening. Which gets us into momentum. Uh, we need to shoot that person first to get them out of the way so we don't... Tell me, and it is done. I'm shooting people. Shouldn't that cost nothing? I need to read her talents again. Features, talents. Gunslinger. Where's Gunslinger? When Jay is fighting with weapons in both hands, the attack from the second hand, depending on which hand she attacked with first, does not cost any additional AP. How about no? I'm missing something. I am clearly missing something. Wanna see a trick? Well, while I'm missing something, it. I imagine Argenta won't. Doubt is for the weak. going to rebel. I'll do it. 95% miss. Unfortunate. Not to escape the Emperor's judgment. As the Emperor commands, I act to my Emperor. Okay, there we go. For some reason it was just taking time to activate. So we get we do get shots with Jay without having to spend anything on it. So that's promising. Nothing I can't do. Cassia. Are we around here? That's three and high momentum, which someone needs to give to her. Thank you. I'm incarnate. Step aside. The is what we need to eliminate is, is the boss over here. Me? If you insist, Lord Hilton. Cassie does a great job as our boss killer. At least until we can get some adventures and more firepower. Not as I have read tomes of military tactics. Clearly his faux Latin wasn't enough to Me? save him. I'm not accustomed to a foe painted black. Where's the last one? Up there. Me. Wonderful. And a new let's challenge turn on the ventilation. Great, now we're not all being poisoned. And we can loot in peace. Deliver us. Doubt is for the weak. What do you have, Mr. Kingpin? 20 bonus coercion minus 5 to awareness. Medicaid and an amber chainsword. When hit by this weapon, the target suffers minus 5 penalty to armor. Stacks. All of those are interesting if I know when I'm going to have to take a coercion test. I'm always ready. At the ready. moment, I'm already testing on 85. But I don't want to be wearing a plus coercion item all the time. Because I've currently got a shooty one on, don't I? Yeah, 15, plus 15% critical hit chance against targets with 15, 50% wounds left. And perception is useful in reducing opposing dodge. That said... Coercion on 105? I'll think about it. Uh, Mazoa Pattern Hand Flamer. 11 to 16 damage. Okay, so it's an upgraded Hand Flamer. And I imagine the mooks are not going to have anything super interesting. But everyone is leveling up, so that's cool. Yay, crap. I can give crap to the Drusians. Get me my Heavy Bolter. 
Start of the wearer's turn, they gain 20% dodge until the end of the round. I won't tolerate that might weakness. be a defensive item for Jay. I'll see what else I can find in this hideout, and then maybe level up. I did kind of want to see what would happen if I brought Jay to see the uh, boss. And this is mostly because, think about this. If they got beef, we need to sort this out. We need to make sure everything is smoothed over. So let's just see if we can get a response. Vladime notices Jay standing behind you. What are you doing here? Vladime, Vladime, you must have thought you were the only one in footfall who knew how to make friends. Told you I'd find a better deal. Sure your lordship has a reason for getting mixed up with a small fry like her. Perhaps you were amused by her false promises, a quick profit. Or some more intimate aspects of such relationships. Mate, don't you second guess me. In any case, that's none of my business. Just remember that here on Footfall, the truly good deals worthy of your attention can only come from me. Jay has joined my retinue to atone for her misdeeds before the Emperor. <laughs> Glory to the exalted one who cares for us all, Jay says. In my experience, people like her tend to turn over a new leaf only when the door on the airlock shuts behind them and not a moment sooner. Alright, let's tell him that I found and neutralized the Anvers Agitator in Chief. That is a truly outstanding accomplishment. Your Lordship Footfall can now let us easy. At least until the next Mad Hoodlum makes himself known. I'm going to say other matters demand my attention. I might tell him about quarter in a bit. Oh, 161 experience. That's some. Now, I don't think we were done on footfall, but uh, I thought I was going to go back to my ship for a moment just to talk to the crew, and Heinrichs is here waiting for me. Lord Captain. Pleased to see you again, Heinrichs. I'm glad to hear that my presence aboard your ship did not leave you with any unpleasant memories. I hope your disposition won't change once I have explained the reason for my visit. I have so much heresy to report to you, mate. Like, I have, there are gangs everywhere. Like, are you interested? Um, I was able to contact my mentor and report the tragic events that transpired on Rykat Minoris. I also received some information from my agents regarding the movements and actions of the enemies of humanity, including the Xenos that we're assuming were involved in the theft of the star. According to their findings, the threat now hangs over other worlds, this time yours, Lord Captain. By the order of Lord Inquisitor, Xavier Calcazar, whose duty is to stand sentinel over the Corona's expanse, the road trader of uh, House von Valancey is to take on board the agent of the Most Holy Inquisition and provide escort and support, in deeds great and small, to serve to safeguard the territories of the Imperium against its enemies. This decree is effective immediately upon the announcement and remains into effect until decided otherwise by His Excellency Calcazar. What exactly caused this need to rejoin my crew? The cause is the activity of humanity's enemies, including the cult of the Final Dawn. In my absence, the situation in the Expanse has changed. Heresy has taken root in the region where the Von Valancius worlds lie. You probably already know about the fate of the industrial world Kiava Gamma. If not, then I'll share what details I know, but not here. Better to talk on board where we will not be overheard. Some good, I like I like some of the choices. Uh, sometimes I've got heaps of choices and I like it. Sometimes it's missing something obvious. Um, I don't need him to translate. It was very obvious. I, I don't need to say I can't say no. I, I'm happy for him to be on board. I can't. I can object to the abuse of power by the Inquisition if I was an idiot. Uh, like it's. It, I can say it, but it's dumb. So the two good options are either a sanction cycle with an inquisitorial rosette in my retinue for free, no less. The other rogue traders will be positively green with envy. Or I, rogue trader Perun von Blathlantius, welcome the agent of the Golden Throne aboard my ship and take on the responsibility of assisting him in the fight against the evil that threatens humanity. Let's um, let's joke with him a bit. Not the most uh, common response to the news that I will be constantly breathing down your neck. You aren't wrong, though. I prefer to repay favours in kind. Assist me by ensuring my work is unobstructed, and I will assist you in return. Must also deliver this to you. The Lord Inquisitor specified the contents of this envelope over your eyes only. Um, I mean, 
and I'll add Heinrich to the retinue, but we are going back to the ship. Because I think it's time for us to go back, talk to the crew, do a little bit of housekeeping with the whole place. Like, we've, we've repaired the ship, we've recruited some people. Um, there's a lot of discussions that I think need to happen. So here we are back on the ship. With our crew, Heinrich's back where he belongs, and Jay. Lord Captain, the inspection of the ship's systems are complete. Everything is ready for onward travel, except there is an issue. You must be... There's always an issue. Oh, Cassie is telling me something. I've been studying the records left over by the previous navigator. I want to double-check the route to Dargonus that discovered that it does not match the one recorded in the Atlas. Oh... So the warp route, the, the FTL route to one of these planets, um, the routes can change, they can be disrupted by warp storms and things like that, and this one, unfortunately, uh, doesn't seem to be viable anymore. Cassie is saying to make matters worse, I started checking the paths from the Atlas one after the other and saw the same thing everywhere. The warp is roiling with an ominous storm, bursting with vivid and screaming colours. It will not hinder our movement, but all previous knowledge is now utterly useless. Now we can be certain the problems with the astropathic communication, the expanse are no coincidence. There is a warp disturbance. Okay, so the warp can get uppity uh, and it can make travel and communication difficult periodically. It's one of the great challenges the Imperium has in coordinating its actions and moving its fleets. So you need to locate the keywords of the Bondalancia's protectorate as soon as possible. I'm talking about Janus, Dargonus, and Kiava Gamma, charting new routes so they can be reached and restoring control will be the necessary next step. Yeah, I think so. We need to preserve our planets. What would the consequences of losing contact be? A world deprived of connection to its neighbours and the Coronas Expanse's infrastructure can only rely on itself and their capabilities are limited. Janus doesn't have a fleet of its own. Anyone could prey on it. Loss of communication is a threat to your position. A road trader with no protectorate is one that grows weaker by the day. Tell me about Janus. Okay, Janus is an agri-world. The world's growing more prosperous year after year, securing shipments and taxes while keeping the workforce tightly controlled. Okay, so we've got a world that produces food and with a nice ecology. What about Kiava Gamma? The industrial world, this is the place that has the uprising. All the heretic issues. So this is a manufacturing planet. Mistress Toleman neglected to mention that Kiava Gamma Manufactorum also supplies heavy machinery from forage harvesters to vessel systems and components. What about Dargonus? Dargonus is the heart and soul of your protectorates where the main administrative resources and storage facilities are. So is the Von Valancius Palace. This is where you would publicly accept the title of Rogue Trader. Dargonus is a major administrative hub that runs the cargo fleet and keeps track of the finances. So do we prioritise the industrial hub that's currently got problems, the agricultural world that can't defend itself until we make contact with it again, uh, or our capital world that probably has the best ability to defend itself and is administrative in nature, but is also our capital world? Abelard, what is your opinion? What world should we go to first? Rediscovering the Agri World will supply your protectorate with something none of your servants can do without. Sustenance. The importance of basic supplies should not be underestimated. Just look at footfall in its apparent pitiful state. On the other hand, I am concerned by the rumours concerning Kiava Gamma. There have been no problems on Janus for many years, but something is very wrong with the industrial world right now. Delay might cost us the entire planet. I trust they do not have to explain the capital world. Losing it would make us a laughing stock to the other dynasties. Besides, the loss of Chronicles and ledgers would spell a bureaucratic trip. Uh, catastrophe. So all three systems are equally vital to the Protectorate. Falls you to decide which should be brought into the fold before the rest of Lord Captain. Of course it does. Very well. That's right, he's put all the information in front of me. He's given me a statement of threats, implications, and it's up to me to make the decision on how to balance the risks. Very well, our course is clear. Do our officers have any other issues that require immediate attention? The answer is apparently not. So I'll drop a save. I'll have a talk to the people on the crew, 
and then we might be reaching an end of episode depending on timing. Well, I mull which of the worlds to go to first. If you have an opinion on which world probably needs me to go to first, the agri world, the capital world, or the industrial world that might have a heretic problem, uh, I would welcome your input.